Tonight, a demand for answers from the family of a man killed in a deadly police-involved shooting. It happened last night just outside 370 Lafayette Avenue in the Clinton Hills section of Brooklyn. That's where Eyewitness News reporter Nina Pineda is live with more. Nina? Sandra, the victim did not live here, but he came here every weekend and stayed here to take his mother to church. But this Sunday, instead of praising, this family is planning a funeral, and they want to know why the victim came out onto his stoop also near the stoop, an undercover officer. But how the confrontation unfolded from there is what the family is disputing. My son was blessing me, the peacemaker. <laughs> oh, God. He don't be involved in no violence. He always tried to make peace. The victim's wheelchair-bound mother cannot figure out how her son, Army veteran Shem Walker, walked out of the family brownstone to smoke a cigarette and wound up shot to death by undercover police. He said, Mom, we ain't going for a smoke. And that was the last time. <laughs> oh, my God. The undercover officers were in the middle of a buy and bus last night around 7.20 p.m. when the NYPD says Walker began beating the backup officer over the head as the officer was observing his partner make a drug buy. And the NYPD says the firearm discharged after Walker grabbed the weapon with both hands. He was killed. He didn't die. He didn't die of natural causes. They killed him. And I don't have my daddy anymore. <laughs> At no time did the undercover identify himself as a police officer, which the NYPD says is standard procedure during the dangerous buy and bust operations. Any negative thing that they said about him in the newspapers is absolutely false. Family members dispute the police version of events, believing the 49-year-old died trying to protect his mom, her property, and the neighborhood from crime by telling what he thought was someone up to no good to get off his stoop. He did not want anyone sitting on his stoop. Um, and he had asked others to leave his property in the past, and they obliged. Why did not these undercover officers leave his stoop, and why did an, alter uh, an altercation ensue, and why is he now dead? The officer involved in the shooting uh, suffered uh, a laceration to his head. He had two stitches to repair it. Le uh, Councilwoman James says the fact that he is black, the officer, and the victim is black does not discount racism, blaming the NYPD for what she calls a culture, an institutional culture, which jeopardizes people of color. The family joins her in asking for an independent investigation. The Brooklyn DA's office and NYPD's Internal Affairs is also investigating. Live in Clinton Hill, Nina Pineda, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.